what we're looking at here is, well, seems like a percent word problem. I mean, I saw the word percent being thrown around. Your answers are percents. Uh, but, you know, let's think about it. What makes this one different than the ones that we typically see? You know, I'm typically, I'm particularly talking about the question. What are they asking you to find? What's different about this problem than the other ones that you've seen? Right, we're looking for a percent this time. Typically, we're, we're trying to find the amount, right? You know, not always money, but we're trying to find that amount, either the beginning amount or the end amount, the original or the result. But this time, we're actually trying to find the percent. So that's the first difference you want to notice. But everybody, just because you're looking for something different, does that mean that the formula changes? If it's still a percent problem, do we still use the percent formula? Yeah, like we can still use the percent formula. We're, still, we're fine. We're totally fine. So with that, here we go. Watch. Watch this. So I see here that's asking, what percent of the cost does he have? So what percent of the cost does he have? So everybody, is it fair to say this? What we want, what we want is the percent that represents what we have. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. So we want to find out the percent that represents what we have. Okay. So let's think. Remember everybody in the formula for percents, what's the main idea? What's the main idea that I always talk about when it comes to percents and that formula? What is it? The percent that you apply is the result that you get. So the percent that you apply is the result that you get. So because we're looking for the percent that represents what we have, then maybe we can find a number a value, an amount that represents what we have. Because if we do find that, then we're going to have ourselves a beautiful setup for our formula. If we follow that rule, though, so let's go ahead, check out the information. Let's see what we can do. So it says, hey, Andrew wants to buy an item that costs $2,500 and he has $1,100. Hmm. So let's write that down. The cost of the item is $2,500. So $2,500 is the cost. And then over here it says, has 1100 so $1,100, that's what we have. Everybody, before I make another move, is that understandable to you? We're looking for the percent that we have, 2500 that we saw there represents the cost of the item, and then the 1100 that we wrote down represents the amount of money that we have. Are we so far so good on that? Good. Because remember, the percent that we apply is the result that we get. Remember, got to keep with the formula here. We have to beat it into our heads because it's going to help us out in the future. So the percent times the original equals the results. These represent the same thing. So with that, we see that we're going to say, hey, the percent that we're looking for times, hey, what's going to be the original, everyone? What's going to be the original? Yeah, the 2500 the whole thing, the total cost of the item. Yeah, 2500 So it's going to be right there. That's going to equal the result. Everybody, what's the result going to be? Right, that's going to be 1100 Cool. So now that we have that, we have our formula set up. Everybody... Are we good? Like, will this help us solve for what we want out of the problem? Yeah, absolutely. No, so notice, we just filled in the formula. All we did was let the facts take us where they may. 
just make sure that you're being honest about the facts. You know, just don't, don't plug something in somewhere just because it looks right. Plug it in because you know it's right and you can back it up. The percent we're looking for is still unknown. The original number, that's the total cost of the item. The whole thing, 2,500. And the percent that we're looking for represents what we have. So the number that we put on the other side of the equal sign represents the money we have and we were given that. That was 1,100 and now we just have to exactly work backwards. So now that we're here, boom, let's go. To find that percent, everybody, to get the percent by itself, what do we need to do to both sides of this equation? What do we need to do? J, not multiply, we have to divide here, yeah. To get that percent by itself, we just need to divide the 2,500 from both sides. Twenty five hundred, twenty five hundred. Divide on both sides. Once we do that, well, guess what? Right here on the left side, anything divided by itself, that's gonna cancel out. That's gonna cancel right out, nice and easy. So we're just left with the percent equals. And now, if you see this, you know you have eleven hundred divided by twenty five hundred. What you can actually do is, well, you can simplify a little bit. And what we know is, hey, look. Whenever you're multiplying zeros together, you add up the zeros. Whenever you're dividing zeros, well, you cancel the zeros out. So you can actually, and this is fair, you can just go ahead and do this. That's gone, and that's gone. So you actually have 11 over 25. You, have, you actually have 11 over 25, and here that's a little easier to look at when you go ahead and actually perform the division. 25 into 11. And so making it this far in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's safe to assume that you like the way I teach. And that's the truth for a lot of folks here. So if you wanna learn more about my program, where you can get all of my practice questions, including 15,000 that'll help you succeed with step-by-step -step solutions, a lot of them having video solutions, then go ahead and reach out to me. My phone number is 567-698-8867. Go ahead and reach out to me. That way you're not stuck in the same loop that so many people are stuck in with retaking the ASVAB over and over again when the solution to getting a higher score is right here in front of your face. Again, go ahead and text me, ask me about my full program, or click the link in the description to learn more about it. But at the end of the day, sign up, get the score you want, and that job you deserve. Let's go ahead and get it done. So 25 goes into 1, can't go. 25 goes into 11, can't go. So we have a zero before that decimal place. Then we think about 25 going into 110. 25, 50, 75, 100. So that's gonna be four times, because if you do five, that's gonna be 125, too much. So just gonna be four, and that's gonna be 100. So we subtract 100, and that's gonna leave 10. Drop that zero down, and now we have how many times 25 goes into 100? And that's going to be four times. So we have 0.44. That's a perfect division there. We're done. So what we have here, okay, cool. 11 divided by 25 is 0 0.44. So that's going to be 0 0.44 equals 11 over 25. But that doesn't seem right. Is that in percent form? No. That's actually going to be in decimal form. So... Everyone, if you move the decimal to the left two times to turn a percent to a decimal, what are you supposed to do to go from a decimal back to a percent? What do we do to go backwards? Exactly, Kevin. Move it back to the right two times. And so that's what's going to happen here. One, two, and that's going to end up being 44%. And that's where we get that. So that's all it was at the end. This is a decimal and we need to turn it into a percent. So turn into a percent. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there 
to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.